how to make a whatsapp business account hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own whatsapp business account so let's get started so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to click on the play store and we're going to open it up and we're going to search for whatsapp business so over here just search for whatsapp business and here we have it and now we're just simply going to go ahead and click on install and we're going to install the application just wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed and then we can get started now for those of you who didn't know whatsapp business is it basically works exactly like the standard whatsapp application but the key difference is that it's mainly used for business purposes and i will show you how so now that it, the application has been installed we're going to go ahead and open it up and see how it looks like so over here as you can see this is how it looks like and we're going to go ahead and start to create an account so to create an account all you have to do is click on agree and continue and over here you will have your number shown at the bottom right here but if you want to use a different number you can go ahead and click on use a different number and then you can use that number i recommend using a different number but since i don't have it i'm just simply going to go ahead and use my main number click on continue to allow for the business account to access your contacts wait a couple of seconds for it to connect and once it does that we can move on so just wait over here it's just going to take a little bit second to transfer some of the contacts over here basically transferring my media and chats as well all right the next thing that you can do is to create your business profile so first things first you got to enter in your name your category and some other features that i'm going to show you but first things first we're going to add a profile picture so just simply tap over here and choose your profile picture from the gallery and as you can see i've already set that up so i'm not going to do that next thing you can do is you can add in your name i've already added the name so now i'm going to move on to the third part which is called adding a category so over here you can add in the category of your business so over here you can add in whatever category your business falls into can be anything so as you can see we have a bunch of different ones so we have automotive services apparels arts and entertainment education event planner hotels medical health and stuff like that so what we're going to do is we're going to click on apparels and clothing we're going to click on show more options and over here we can add in the description of our business and the business address so over here just simply add in a small you know description that describes your business over here once you have added in your description then you can go ahead and add in your business address so i'm just simply going to write the address street number one that's basically it and once you've done that just simply click on next and then you will basically have to update your address if you want to you know as you can see this is the address that it's showing me but I'm just simply going to click on don't update so now what we can do is now we can just simply wait for a couple of minutes for whatsapp to load up and now over here we are about to create a catalog so what does this mean so basically once you create a catalog people can come over here and see what you are offering and all of your products so offer better browsing shows what you're selling right in whatsapp as i said just now sharing your offers send your items to the entire catalogs in chats which is pretty cool and get started fast so it's just a few steps so let's get started so click on get started and now over here this is how you basically create your catalog so you're going to add in your item so creating your catalog so you can add an item to it so let's just wait for a couple of seconds and now over here at the top you're going to add in the images for your product the item name over here the price this description and if you want you can add in a bunch more fields as well let's go ahead and add the image so i'm going to choose this one right here and i'm going to click on ok so right now it's this one so i'm just simply going to write black t-shirt the price for it could be let's just say 500 over here we'll call it made out of pure cotton we're good to go yeah then we can add in the link of it as well so that if people want to go let's say the website and see for itself they can do that as well we can even add the item code but these are optional and once you've done that just simply click on save and you will save your item as you can see we've added the item so over here let me just go ahead and add another one just so that we can have like two options so next thing i'm going to add is this image right here i'm going to call it blue t-shirt i'm going to price it the exact same thing and i'm just gonna say it's a 100 percent cotton so there you go so i just said excellent to say 1000 percent. so now we're just simply going to click on save and here we go so now we have two items in our catalog added 
now what we can do next is we can see all of our chats over here so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings and over here we have a bunch of different tools so this is the business tools right here this is the one that we want so we have business profile we have catalog screen messages as well we have away messages quick replies we have advertise on facebook advertise on instagram and short link as well and stuff like that so what we can do is we can add like a greeting message so what this will do is it will greet customers when they message you the first time or after 14 days of no activity so what we can do is we can turn it on and we can just simply add in over here and we can add in the you know uh, greeting message as well so over here thank you for contacting hash apparels please let us know how we can help you i think that's a standard good message or you can go ahead and change that as well we can add a bunch of emojis over here that can lighten the mood as well so i'm just simply going to add this giggling one as well and yeah i think that looks good i'm just simply going to click on ok and then we have recipients so this can be everyone everyone not in address pool or everyone except the people you don't want and only send to specific people as well but for now i'm going to leave it at that so we have the greeting message as well we're going to click on save so it saves and we have away messages as well so what does this mean this means that it will automatically reply with the message when you are away so over here when we turn it on we can say thank you for your message we are unavailable right now but we will respond as soon as possible so the schedule will be always send custom send or outside of business hour you can do that and recipients can be everyone and let's just click on save as well as i said before we can have like quick replies as well so to use this just type with a bar with your keyboard or select quick replies from the attachment tray so this is a quick reply so for example whenever someone says thanks or thank you this message will be sent to them which i think is pretty cool and you can add like a bunch of these as well you can add like more over here click on add you can add like a shortcut if someone says hey or hello you know someone says hey we can add like hi how can i help you like i can say like that whenever someone you know sends me a hey message or a hi message i can add like this and i can save that and boom there we go so whenever someone says hi or hey this message will be forwarded to them then we have labels as well so we can like add different labels over here for like example for new customers their label is going to be this blue icon for new order is going to be yellow and for pending one it's going to be like this pale pinkish color or like i don't know what color is that and then we have this lavender color over here and then we have this green one at the bottom for completion order so it's pretty cool as i said before as you can see whatsapp business is different from the standard one it gives you a bunch of different options but as i said before this is only mainly focused towards let's say uh, business purposes so you can't have any fun with it because it's strictly for business so once you've done that that's how you basically you know create your whatsapp business account so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye